people. Most of the food that they eat comes right from their backyard. Take a look. This is our garden. This is my apartment right here, our bedroom and the sun deck. And every morning when I go out to collect my three duck eggs from the garden, from the ducks who are Indian runner ducks that are kind enough to lay some eggs, come out and maybe harvest some really close to the stairway here, making it really easy. Uh, some overwintered chard or some good King Henry or some mustard greens, a little bit of arugula, maybe some mallow to throw into the egg omelet or into the quiche depending on what our flavor of the day is. Uh, grab some herbs maybe from the herb spiral and really have a local breakfast. It's one of the great things about having an edible landscape in the urban environment is the connection to food. A couple years ago I was becoming more interested in sustainable food systems. And I looked at the urban environment and saw a lot of unused space. And some of the most obvious unused space is uh, privately owned vacant lots. We'd like to organize a volunteer crew who will, for free, remediate the soil of your site and put it into productive use for the time that it's not being developed with explicit intention that when that site would be intended to be developed that all the plants and all the biomaterial that we put into the site would be removed. What you're looking at is the most radical concrete action that any citizen can take and do in San Francisco. But we get about 20 inches of rain, 19 to 20 inches of rain every winter. And in seven by seven miles, that's about 16 billion gallons of water falls during the winter. 70% of that water hits impervious surfaces. That would be rooftops, right of ways, streets, sidewalks, and runs into a combined storm drain sewer system. The combined storm drain sewer system means that all of our waste from the household, both our, our wastewater from our showers and from washing dishes, but also from our toilets, uh, gets combined with that storm water and runs into the treatment facilities. What's important about those overflows every winter is that it destroys the Bay Ecology and the Ocean Ecology south of San Francisco. And if you're an advocate for a sustainable food system in the Bay Area, we need the Bay to be healthy so we can't poison the Bay with our raw sewage. And it's, there's something really magical of knowing that you're having food that is so fresh, uh, so local, so close to home. <laughs> These perennial collards, absolutely delicious. www.urbanpermacultureguild.org and my email is kevin at uas dot co-op. C O O P. Hey, welcome back to IDTV. We're here with Barbara Hames, uh, an instructor from the Culinary Arts and Hospitality welcome Department. Welcome to our garden. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So I understand you uh, instruct a course here at City College. Can you tell our audience a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, I teach a wine class and. The wine class that I teach is Introduction to Sensory Evaluation of Wine. So oh. a lot of what we learn is about how to taste wine, how to experience wine. Cool, awesome. How many people are in that class? Usually about 50. Oh my god. People like the wine. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a very popular class, as you can imagine. <laughs> cool. We got some interesting stuff here on the table. Yes. Will you um, show us the first step of drinking wine? Sure. We're going to go through the, all the steps, and one of the reasons we do oh. that is because when you taste wine, when you experience wine, you want to use all your senses, and it's really cool because it's a way you feel really okay. alive. So you so said the first, all the steps. So, so the steps are sight, mm -hmm. smell, 
taste and then to feel, right? So All your right. senses, All right? So let's cool. start. So here's a really great example of sight. Look at these two glasses of Whoa. wine. Look how different they look, Wow. right? So you wouldn't say they look the same. Mm -mm. Well, they're no. both red wines. Well, this is one you can tell is old. This, this one age. It's got some age. And this is the one that so is younger. This looks fruitier and darker, and this is just a little, it looks this just looks opaque. Cool. It's pale. Basement. Pale. It's yeah. pale. Color. And yes, it is. It's like this is a purple red, and this one is kind of dried blood and a little brickish. Yeah. And it's th looking thinner. I don't know if you can thinner. see it, but it's a huge so difference. It's yeah. a really big difference. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. the first mm -hmm. thing we do is we check sight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to. All right. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Now, okay. I've decanted some, and we're going to go through the next parts. Okay. okay. So we had sight and then smell. So we're on the smell. Okay, so okay. we shouldn't even call it wine tasting. We should call it wine smelling, because 75% okay. of what we think is taste is really smell. Okay. So first we're going to swirl it around a little bit to get some oxygen in. And, and I know you're, told you're not supposed to hold it like this no, when you do this. No, because you heat up the bowl. You want to hold it by the stem. Sweaty hands. <laughs> yes. Warm heart, though. Warm <laughs> heart. Yes. All, right. All right, so we're going to swirl it around. Okay. We've taken a look at it. Now we're going to stick our noses in. Should I stick my nose really far? Stick your nose really far. Mm. Pinocchio goes to wine mm. school. And see what you can smell. Everything, it's like you, you're a detective. What can you smell? Blackberries? Maybe. Fruitsy. Something. <laughs> grapes. Very fruity. I would say grapes. Blackberries. Good. Yeah. Grapes. Fruit. 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 Well, fruit obviously fruit. grapes. Come here. <laughs> well. Yeah. Okay. I just want to have a You know, when you, if we had smelled the older <laughs> wine, we wouldn't have smelled the fruit. We would have smelled <laughs> all the other characteristics that uh, come out as it get, gets okay. older. Okay. So we smell. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. And then, finally, we're going to go, we're going to taste and see what, again, we're not just going to throw it back. We're going to put it in our mouths. We're going to swirl it all around. We're going to suck some air in. Okay. And then we're going to spit it out. We're not swallowing it. See, we're not okay. swallowing. Should we go? Here, mm -hmm. cheers. 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 Your turn. Oh. Good job. Not too much blowback. All right. All right. Bad. So, what did you taste? Um, I thought it was. It wasn't very acidic like other ones. I felt a little bit more base. I guess I should say a little. Um, I don't know how to I say that. I would say smoother, bitter, a little bit. Oh, so we're opposite. Yes. What does that mean? I think maybe I just had it very. I didn't go as. Well, no, I think everybody's different. Our body chemistries are all different. Mm, right. And we taste different things. You tasted some wood. There's some wood mm. that is on this wine that um, helps it age and taste better. And that's where the, a little bit of the bitterness came from. Mm. And you're tasting sort of the lower tone yeah. uh, and a little bit of the higher alcohol, which makes it taste less acidic. I taste alcohol. You yeah. taste alcohol. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. <laughs> a nice black fruit, right? Right. Mm. Not exactly. red, not cherries, not strawberries, but blackberries. Awesome. Cool. So the next thing before we finish, the mm -hmm. last thing is feel, is our sense of, you know, your sense of touch. This isn't it. It's like, how did it feel in your mouth? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't, it wasn't, I've, I've tasted stronger wines for some reason. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was that strong. It didn't have a strong finish, I guess. I don't uh -huh. know if that makes sense. Okay. It was, didn't last long. I could go for another sip right now, basically. Uh, of I don't course. Taste it that much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, but did it feel like water? Did it feel like the texture of water, of skim milk, it or was of cream? It was skim tickling milk? on my tongue. Skim milk. Skim milk. Okay, so kind of light to medium bodied. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. You think? Mm, no. So we're yeah, now. Yeah. So we think we're talking about taste now. Mm. We're talking about feel. How much did it weigh? It tickled on my tongue. It tickled oh, the, on the your heaviness. Tongue. The heaviness, right? Oh, there's so many things to think about when you take a little. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What kind of wine is this? This is a Cabernet from Sonoma County. Cool. Mm. So. Awesome. So so what? Red wine goes with meat, and uh, like white wine goes with fish. Well, that's so. the old way, but now yeah. you know we like to break all sorts of rules, don't we? Yeah. So. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> cool. Well, I th Barbara, thanks so much for coming, and I hope You're people welcome. sign up for your class. It sounds like you have enough interest already, <laughs> but this was really fun. I learned something. I yeah, I'm ready to go that. out yeah. off campus mm -hmm. and drink a little bit more wine. Yes, sounds good I'm to me. totally, totally. Yeah. Uh, this is the end of IDTV. I am Kimla Stemmer, and I'm Courtney Vina, and it's not just us we have an amazing crew back there come up here and yes. uh, come up here and show me your beautiful yeah. faces and cheers with us
this is some of the people. There's still some people in control. Yes, they worked very, sure very hard to bring the show to you guys. <laughs> and um, good yeah, job, everybody. Good job. Cheers. Cheers to you all. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Okay. And for you guys who's a little bit envy now because we have so much fun, uh, this is a class at City College as well. So you can sign up. It's all, all, all <laughs> yes. Only, thank you, only in uh, the spring. So <laughs> almost wait for half a year next uh, semester. Here comes the more people. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Once again, I'm Courtney Venus. And I'm Camille Stemark. This is an amazing crew. This is yes. the last episode of IDTV. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Cheers.